to reading class. Um, today we're looking at lesson 12, which is a test. Okay, so let's go over a little bit of review and then we will do our test. Okay, think or no. Now remember, you only use no when you absolutely know for sure. Okay, you most times we think something, but there's only a few times that we actually know for sure that it's going to happen. Okay, so I think or I know I will finish this test today. Okay, now you can say, well, I know I'm gonna get finished. Well, yeah, you think you're gonna get finished, but what if um, all of a sudden you had to go somewhere, okay, like for the rest of the day? Then would you get finished with your test? Maybe not, okay? So there is things that could come up that would make so you would not get finished with your test, right? But if you're outside playing and you maybe got hurt, maybe you got sick, because all of a sudden you got sick and your test wouldn't be finished, okay? Then do you know that you'll finish your test today? It's kind of confusing sometimes, but think really carefully. Is there something that could come up that would make so I could not get this test done, right? And it, that could happen, right? So you would say, I think that I can get this test done today, right? Because you think you can, because if everything goes just normal, you'll get it done, right? So you think you will get it done, but there is times that things come up and then you wouldn't get it done. So you would say, I think I will finish the test today. I think or I know that my mom is older than I am. Do you think that your mom is older or do you know that your mom is older? Okay, you know that your mom is older, right? Because your mom, her age stays the same or it keeps going up just like yours does, right? Would you ever catch up with your mom? You won't, right? So you know it's something that cannot change. Your mom is older than you are, okay? So you know that your mom is older than you are. Okay, figure of speech. Remember, a figure of speech is words that say something but they don't mean exactly what they say. Benny smiled from ear to ear. Does your smile ever reach back to your ear all the way over to your other ear? Not quite, right? You can smile really big and it still doesn't reach from ear to ear, does it? No. But what does that mean? Does it mean Betty smiled with his ears? Or does it mean that Betty had a big smile on his face? When someone says somebody was smiling from ear to ear, what does that mean? It just means they were smiling really big, right? Let's talk about our verses. Which verse tells us that all the animals belong to God? Let's say that verse together. Say it two times. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. Psalm 50, 10. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. Psalm 50, 10. Which verse tells us to say things that are true? That verse is... Deceive not with thy lips. Proverbs 24, 28. Say that together. Deceive not with thy lips. Proverbs 24, 28. Say it again. Deceive not with thy lips. Proverbs 24, 28. Which verse tells us that we should treat others like we want to be treated? What verse is that? Say it together two times. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Matthew 22, 39. Say it again. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Matthew 22, 39. And which verse tells us that we should help others? Say that together two times as well. They helped everyone his neighbor. Isaiah 41, 6. They helped everyone his neighbor. Isaiah 41, 6. Make sure you know those verses really well because you will need to know um, you will know some you will need to know some things about those verses on the test. So if you know, if you think you know the verses, know the verse and what they mean. Okay? You need to know the verse and what they mean. And if you think you know that, um, ask your mom for your test, and we will go over our test together. So if you have your test, open it up to part A. Um, don't forget to write your name on your test, okay? You need to write your name on your test, and then we'll be ready for part A. Part A says, read the story, then follow the directions. So it gives you a story there, 
And then it goes down to number one. It says, underline the sentence that tells why the boys did, did not worship the idol. So why did they not worship the idol? They loved the king and they loved and obeyed God. Use your ruler and underline the correct answer. Number two says, underline two things that you know from the story. Okay? So underline two things. It gives you three options. You underline two of those that tell you things that you know from the story. Number three, number the sentences <clears throat> in the order they happen. So it gives you three sentences there. And again, this is still about the story. You number those one, two, three, which will happen first, second, and last. Part four, circle the sentence that tells what the boys told the king. Did they say we will go into the fire? Or did they say we will obey God? Which thing did they say? You circle the sentence that shows what they said. Part five, Circle the number of people the king saw in the fire. Number six, circle the word that tells how the boys felt when they came out of the fire. Number seven, scan the story. Write two four-letter words that begin with F. Part B, <clears throat> write the number of the Bible verse beside its meaning. So it gives you A, B, and C. Those are your verses. And then beside 8, 9, and 10, which verse means God owns all the animals? A, B, or C. You write A, B, or C in each one of those little spaces. Part C, underline what the figure of speech means. The sun goes to bed in the west. Does that mean the sun goes down at night or the sun falls asleep? What does that mean? Think through that one carefully. Don't let that one trick you. Part D, if the sentence tells how a cat and a dog are alike, circle yes. If it tells how they are different, circle no. Check over your text. Do your best. Make sure you wrote neatly. Make sure you use your ruler if you had to underline. Make sure you follow the directions. Go over it. Check over every single part. Check over every single answer. Go back and read that story again. Check over all the questions that it asks you about that story. And check over your Bible verses. What do those Bible verses mean? Think through those. Um, the figure of speech. What does that figure of speech mean? Think of it in today's world. Okay? Think about it like, like today, when the sun goes down, what's happening? Um, and then think of a cat and a dog. Picture a cat and a dog in your mind. Is that one way they're alike? Yes or no? Is that one? Yeah, you just go through those. Is it, are they alike in that way? If so, circle yes. Are they not alike? Circle no. Okay? Do your test carefully. Check over it. And that is all for reading class. I'll see you in math class.